Getting ready for a party? Don't forget about beautiful invitations, fun games, sweet cocktails, and of course, the vibe on the dance floor. Watch our new video to learn how to throw a party when your parents aren't home. Ben and Rosie's parents are going out of town for a couple of days. The house is all theirs now, which means it's time to throw a crazy party. Rosie made starry invitations. Get two sheets of blue scrapbooking cardboard. Cut a star out of one of them. Pour star-shaped glitter into a Ziploc bag the size of the cut. And pour in some water. Attach a sheet of white paper to the blue cardboard. Write your friend's name. Glue the bag with glitter on top and cover it with the upper cardboard layer with the star. Hot glue the pieces together. Make lines for the date and location with a silver marker. Decorate the invitation with stars and glitter glue. Now sign the invitation and send it out to your friends. But Ben just calls his friend. He knows Stevie's really busy and he never reads mailed invitations. Stevie would absolutely love to come to Ben's party. Ben and Rosie are preparing their house for their party. Fix the curtains, clear up the same room for a dance floor, and the most important thing, a light up sign so their friends know where the party is. Write the word party in white marker on the glass of a picture frame. Cover the back of the glass where the writing is with masking tape. Coat the glass with acrylic paint. Make transitions between colors. Cover the front of the frame with shiny square sequins. When the paint dries, remove the tape and glue on a string of LED lights. Rosie hangs up the sign. Now, no one will be able to miss the party entrance. The door shines even at night. Now, let's wait for our guests. Stevie showed up first. The party king didn't come empty-handed. He brought a present, a star pinata. Cut a big star following a template out of thick cardboard. Make two pieces. Use a strip of cardboard to make a border around the star. Cut a strip into pieces that are the same length as the rays. Hot glue them on. Cut a flap out of the center of the second star and glue it to the border. Make fringe out of a strip of metallic paper. Round the edges with scissors. Cover the star with different colors of fringe. Pour candy inside and big confetti. Glue the flap. Poke a hole through the top of the star and attach a ribbon through it. Now hang up the pinata and hit it as hard as you can. Rosie has a baseball bat that'll do the trick. Let's cover Stevie's eyes. Ben has a dangerous job. Careful, Stevie. Don't hit your best friend. Let's go. Stevie easily destroys the pinata and candy and confetti shower down to the floor. A pinata was a great idea. Thanks, Stevie. Now we can eat candy while we wait for the other guests. The next guest is Blondie. She got their invitation and prepared a surprise for Ben and Rosie. She brought a fun game involving balloons. Write animals and characters on strips of colored paper. Wrap the notes up and put them into balloons. Sprinkle in some glitter. Blow up the balloons and tie them with a ribbon. Attach them onto mesh fabric. Decorate it with ribbons. The girls attach the balloons to the wall. Blondie has a dart. This game is a cross between darts and charades. Ben aims, pops a balloon, and has to explain the word he just got. He shows off all his acting skills. Something that flies. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Is it Swan Lake? Stevie films it for posterity. 
finally they guess it! It was a butterfly! Now it's Rosie's turn! She pops the balloon, then acts like a brave superhero! It's Batman! That was easy! Blondie's turn! She gets Harry Potter! She explains, for a long time! Someone who wears glasses and flies on a broomstick! Our math teacher? No! Finally, they guess it! Stevie's turn! But he got a complicated character to explain. It's a girl with long hair. The friends can't decide. Maybe it's Barbie? That's right! Stevie got his favorite doll! Great job, buddy! Rosie prepared the next game. It's a dance contest! And the friends will write down the scores on star-shaped boards. Cut a star out of thick cardboard following a template. Glue it onto a chopstick. Decorate it with a ribbon. Stevie performs an interpretive dance. He's definitely got what it takes to be a star. And he gets a high score! The friends write their scores using special crayons for the stars. Break up crayons and divide them by color. Microwave them. Fill a star-shaped silicone mold with the liquid crayons. Pour the colors in layers. Let each layer cool. Put the ready stars into a box along with gift filler. Rosie shows off her dance! She's destined to be a hip-hop star! And she gets a decent score! But Ben danced better than everyone else! Justin Timberlake wishes he could have swag like this! Great work, Ben! The stage needs you! Blondie wraps up the show! Everything she does is magical! Even free-falling! <laughs> After dancing so hard, we need to have a refreshing hot chocolate cocktail! Pour milk into sugar. Microwave it. And mix it. Pour the syrup into a flat dish. Dip the rim of a glass into it and dunk it in sprinkles. Pour milk into star-shaped silicone molds. Add food coloring to each one and put them in the freezer. Melt white chocolate in a microwave. Dilute it with hot milk. Add edible silver pearl powder. Pour the chocolate into the decorated glass. Pour in edible glitter and add the colorful milk ice. Decorate the top with whipped cream. And more food glitter. Rosie made a unique cocktail following a special recipe just for this party. The ice makes the yummy cocktail turn different colors. Let's have some serious fun! Ben hangs a disco ball on the chandelier! That means it's time to dance! Cut old CDs into small pieces. Color a plastic sphere with spray paint. Cover the sphere with the CD pieces. Use hot glue. Make slime. Mix glue and pink acrylic paint. Add borax. Sprinkle the mixture with baking soda and mix pink slime. Add different colors of glitter into it. And place the slime into the disco ball. DJ, drop the beat! Now this is a real party! We're all going wild! And DJ Stevie is spinning his favorite track. He's heating up the floor! Everyone's having an absolute blast! What's up, neighbors? Ben feels the dance craze and accidentally hits the disco ball! Oh gosh! It's leaking! Turns out that's just some slime! It just wants to have fun too! No worries! We'll just keep partying! Finally, the parents come back! 
Ben and Rosie act like nothing happened, but they forgot about the photo zone that has all the photographic evidence from their party. Glue a tube to a clothing hanger. Spray paint it white. Attach organza ribbons, party ribbons, and strings of beads to the tube. Cover the whole thing, alternating layers. Glue the bottom ends of the ribbons to a second tube. Cut the word party out of a shiny foam rubber sheet and decorate the hanger. Attach stars made out of shiny felt to small clothespins. And hang photos of your friends on the ribbons. Mom and Dad take the photos down from the stand. Well, 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 looks like someone had a party. It's a shame that Ben and Rosie didn't manage to hide all the clues. Did you like our party ideas? Then let us know in the comments about which one you'll use at your next get together. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so you don't miss new party life hacks from Troom Troom.